Hi everyone, my name is Tom McCruby. I'm here at Prime Motor Cars in Scarborough, Maine. I just wanted to put a short video tour together of this E63 AMG wagon. It is a 2020 model in obsidian black metallic. I'm going to walk around the car, show some of the uh, options and features of this E63. And um, we're going to start right up front here. The uh, first thing, we put it out here on a beautiful day. You can kind of, I don't know if the camera will be able to pick it up, but the metallic um, paint job on this is phenomenal. In the sun, it sparkles. There's, there's metallic flake in there, so it does make the uh, black car pop a little bit more than it normally would. Being that it's an AMG, you do have all of the AMG package here on this car. So the front bumper, far more aggressive than you would find on a standard E-Class. Um, another thing on the front, you'll notice, two more things really, is the... This is a Distronic car, so this does have driver's assistance package, meaning it has an adaptive cruise control, which Mer Mercedes does refer to as Distronic, and this one, Distronic Plus. The other nice thing, will, as we're coming around the side, this does have the exterior lighting package, which is the upgraded headlights. So this gives you a very nice view at night um, with that package. As we come around the side, you'll see the uh, theme of this car is going to be black on black. Um, to match that, we do have the 20-inch AMG forged wheels on this. They are gorgeous. It does have the really nice pop of red behind there with the uh, red painted AMG calipers. And as we come down the side, you'll notice it also has uh, the AMG night package, meaning on this car you'll see all of the trim and the roof rails all blacked out um, that is due to the amg night package so it like i said a lot of black on this car the interior is black it's absolutely gorgeous as we come around to the rear you will see um, amg performance exhaust as well as the amg uh, body styling on here as well obviously with the e63 you get that standard um, I'm gonna pop the trunk here. This is a very versatile vehicle, being that it has over 600 horsepower put out by that twin turboed V8 um, that has been hand built in Germany. Um, as AMG's motto goes, it is one man, one engine. So all hand built, his name is actually on the, the engine itself, which I can open the hood and show you a little bit later in the video. So <clears throat> you do have plenty of storage space in there you do actually have even a little bit more under there with some uh, with like a cargo storage stuff stored under there um, you can even lay these seats down if you would like and then all automatic up and down um, lift gate on this one as we come around the side again same thing you'll see the uh, beautiful 20 inch wheels and then show you some of the rear interior um, this does have the carbon fiber trim so you'll see that on the doors in the rear and then center console and doors in the front and the one other thing to notice in the back seat this does have three zone climate control so you actually have climate controls in the rear seats here as well as as we're coming out the back you'll notice two other things on the door you've got rear heated seats as well as this does have the sunshade package so you actually have the um, manual sunshades. So that's kind of a little short overview of the exterior. Now we're going to move. Um, actually, I'll pop the hood. We can take a peek at that before we go in inside and uh, go from there. All right, now that we're back out front here. I figured we would uh, open the hood and kind of give you a view of this huge four liter V8 that has been by turboed with twin scroll turbos so you can actually see them there they leave a nice little window so you've got your turbos inside your v which also makes this unique to mercedes they they do uh put the turbos inside the v which helps with uh, turbo lag and the engineers put a lot of effort into that and then um, as you can see as with all hand-built uh, amg motors uh, the nameplate of the technician who built it in this case it looks like it's uh, kevin bellman but uh, they also dress up the motor engine bay with AMG badging as well as the Mercedes badging right there. So um, now that we've kind of looked under the hood, we can get inside, go over some of those features, and uh, take it for a little spin. 
All right, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna have a much better look at the interior package on this uh, E63. So I'm gonna start on the driver's side door, kind of come through the middle. There's a lot to cover, so I'm gonna do my best. So first, um, as you'll notice throughout, like I said earlier, there is carbon fiber everywhere in here. So you get the carbon fiber, carbon fiber trim package on the dashboard, doors, and center console. You do have um, your adjustable seat right here on the uh, door. Um, as well as your heated and ventilated seats and then control for your passenger seat if you, uh, if you so choose. Um, then all your other window controls, your standard stuff is uh, below that. You will notice this does have the upgraded uh, Burmester sound system in it. Then if uh, behind the wheel, it's hard for you to see over there, that's all your driving aids. Uh, switches for your driving aids, whether it be your steering assist, lane keep assist, parking. Um, sensors, turn those off, uh, buttons for your headrest, as well as important for a car like this, you actually, this is a low, uh, low slung uh, wagon sports car, so there is actually a lift on here, so if you hit this button, the car will actually come up, so if you have large um, speed bumps or uh, just a, trying to get into your driveway, that is actually quick, you can just push the button, raises up so you don't scrape. Very nice to have. Uh, this one also is uh, comes equipped with a uh, heated steering wheel package, so um, that is over here on the left side of the steering wheel. Um, now, as we move through the steering wheel, this is a driver's assistance package, like I discussed earlier. All the controls for that are right here. Um, so to turn on your driver's um, your cruise control, you hit the on button, and then you can either set your distance. The uh, following distance of the car in front of you, your speed, and then your resume and cancel. So, pretty straightforward. Everything's right here on the steering wheel, easy to get to. Um, then the these two buttons control your full LCD uh, color display, which you can change um, the whole design of the display or what you see in your gauge cluster just by using the trackpad. These this little black square here on the steering wheel, you can change um, and get different info. Uh, loadouts here in the um, tachometer or um, then display something different in the center as well. Um, you can also put your navigation over here, your radio readouts. Again, not sure if you can see it all that well from where you're at, but um, it does allow you quite a bit of um, customizable features in the center there. Um, you do have your paddle shifters, so if you are on a track or you do want to drive more spirited, you certainly can do that from um, the wheel. Um, then, as we come to the right side, um, you do have your phone controls, volume control, um, voice controls, uh, and then the top half of it actually is your controls for your infotainment system. So you have a, a track pad that you can just change um, change whatever you're selecting, hit the home button, bring up the main menu here and kind of scroll through right from right from your steering wheel so it does not take your hands off the wheel. Um, gear selector right behind that, that's standard most Mercedes now nowadays have them up here. So then as we come through here you get a really really nice look at all this carbon fiber again. Uh, all your uh, climate controls right there in the center then all your hard keys for all your sub menus in your actual control, uh, your command system up here, all right here as well, as well as your hazards. There's also a very nice IWC analog clock in the middle there. It's a very nice touch. Um, under this little um, cover here is your cup holders, as well as um, you do have a space for wireless charging if your car or phone is um, compatible with um, wireless charging. And then right to the right of it, you do have a USB um, input that will charge your phone or um, you can use that for Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, again, if your phone is capable of those two things. Now as we move back, you actually do have a lot of buttons and control up here. So I'll start on the left side. This is your dyna dynamic select. This switch will toggle in between the different drive modes. You'll always start in comfort, but you actually do have a slippery, individual, comfort, sport, sport plus, and because this is an E63 S model, you also get the race function. 
Um, as you can see, as we're going through here, it's changing these settings, which is your engine, transmission, suspension, as well as your exhaust, whether or not, if it's unbalanced, your, um, your exhaust is gonna be a little bit quieter, going through neighborhoods or whatnot, that's nice. If you wanna hear it sound a little bit more, uh, more muscle car uh, style noise, go to the powerful. Um, so all of these options you can actually, or most of them, I should say, you can control from these buttons. So right down from the dynamic sele uh, select, you go to your, uh, this M with some gears. You hit that button, that actually changes this to a paddle shifter only. Um, if you're just in drive and hit the paddle shifters, it'll allow you to switch uh, gears. And then if you don't do anything, it'll go back to uh, just your standard automatic. If you hit this button, it will actually keep it on paddle shifters. Right below that, as you can see, I believe we are in um, Sport Plus mode, so the suspension is lit up, uh, both uh, lights are lit up. Um, that is means it's on its uh, most rigid setting, the sportiest setting. Um, and then as you go down, you'll see the lights turn back off. Below that, it's your traction control. Um, over here on this side, volume control as well as um, control to shut off your infotainment screen up there as you can see i turned it off um, and it snapped it back on right here so say you're in comfort and just want to hear that exhaust which don't know why you wouldn't want to hear it but you can just hit that button opens up the exhaust um, baffles and makes it very nice um, then we go down to this is automatic stop start function comes to a stop sign the uh, the car will actually go to zero rpm not actually shutting the whole car off just as soon as you let off the brake, engine turns right back on, you're on your way. This last button here brings up parking um, parking assist, so this will actually um, search for parking spots, and then also allows you to kind of scroll through your camera angles. So you do have 360 camera on this vehicle, um, and then you can scroll through all of your um, camera angles if you so choose. Then right here in the center, this is how you control everything in the middle there as well. So you've got a home and return key. You've got your, um, your scroll wheel here that you can uh, just scroll around with. Or you have this mouse that above it. So this is a mouse pad or a touch pad. You can just use it just like you would anything else just by swiping. Um, you've got some home keys there as well. In the center here, you do have two more charging USB charging ports as well as plenty of uh, center console storage. And then above us, we actually do have the huge panel roof, which um, gives both you and your rear passengers a beautiful view outside, brings a lot of light into this. Um, while we're looking back there, you can see that these seats do have the um, white stitching as well as the white piping, which really is just a very nice touch. Um, and you also see it's a two-tone um, Dynamica and black leather. So like a suede material in black leather. So we can kind of drive around the lot here if you'd like, kind of get a feel of it going down the road. And see it moving. Inside it is quiet but you can still hear that V8 I'm gonna stop right here so that was a quick overview of uh, the E63 S AMG wagon. So if you have any questions or anything I can do for you, please give me a call. Again, my name is Tom McCubrey. You can reach me at 207-653-9942. Thanks.